Now in part five, we see Rungarai KO'd and Daniel and I discuss the future of Muay Thai in Thailand and look at Daniel's immediate future too. Look out for the post-fight shenanigans montage. This is, this is great and to see it in Thailand as well. Yeah. Good stuff. It's Matt, yeah. Don't turn him into any. They don't have to get any better, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but it will be though, because yeah, they're doing a lot of stuff that's not kind of efficient. Yeah, exactly. Um, and if they are efficient as well as that work rate that they put in, yeah. oh dear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it, it does take a little bit of, it's um, culturally and traditionally that's, different, isn't it? So it's different to take roots. He said the young, the young ties, they, they're understanding his theories now. Mm. So like what he's telling them and they understand it. Whereas the old ties that have fought and they're the padmen, that it goes over their head a bit because like they were fit. We, we they ran 12k, 15k, done hard pads, clinch, spar, whatever, and they were always fit. But like, so they don't really understand why. What's the point of doing it like this now? I kind of think so. But he said the young ties do understand, but it's the old ones that don't. Yeah. Really, so. and, it's, it's, and because of the culture in Thailand with the tradition, yeah. and respecting elders and all this kind of stuff, it's yeah. going to make it a little slower to turn around. Yeah. But, um, places like Pechin D doing this yeah. and they're, they're where they are. I think um, it's good, the, the owner of Pechin D's, he's quite young anyway, so he's 30 and he studied in Australia, I think. So like, he, I, I don't think it was sport or anything, but he kind of knows hmm. different way of life in a different country, so, whereas a lot of them have never come out of Thailand, so, yeah, yeah so I think it's lucky as well that the uh, boat at Pechin D, he's a bit younger and he, so he knows, he's open to ideas, I think, and he listens a lot more to the sports science side of things. So Cherry pick then, the best yeah. bits. It's kind of like you don't have to do everything whole hog, and there's a lot of what they're doing is, is bang on. Yeah. There's other bits, you can just, don't, just yeah. you jig it just a bit and yeah. right. go from awesome to super awesome. Right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, it's, it's really good to hear that you, that's the place you're going to be ending up. Yeah. Before you even get there, though, after this fight, which of course is kind of main yeah. focus at the moment, you're going off to do some seminars, aren't you? Is it Norway? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to Norway three weeks after lockout. Um, I'm going to um, a guy called Tom Willis gym. He's, um, I, don't, I don't even know how to pronounce the name. The <laughs> MMA Troin Trondo. I don't know, I won't even know yeah, how yeah. to pronounce that. But um, yeah, I'm going there for five days, I think it is. Um, I'm doing this one seminar and I'm going to be teaching at the gym for like the five days. And he's, he's sorting me out, like. So, like, he's. Um, it's got me all that sort of doing classes, PTs, and helping out, and so yeah, it's, and then I've got that, and then I'm hoping to fight in December. Um, nothing's been confirmed yet, but I'm hoping to be fighting somewhere like France or somewhere, but if not, I might even go back to Thailand just to get a fight. So I want to kind of, I feel like I'm on the um, like momentum swing in my way, so I want to just keep it going. I had a, a year out as well, so I want to just, so I started back mid 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 year this year. Mm. So I want to kind of get as much in as I can really. I just want to keep it going because I'm loving it at the moment. So and I think the year out when I trying to train for Ryan was it was harder to get fit. So now like to get fit is a lot easier. I'm fit now anyway. So if I had a week or two out, it went it really but like after this fight, I probably will I have a couple of weeks off and then I'll, I'll go back in the gym and I'll be fit again. So yeah. Um, I guess less, going. less of your training is going to be getting body composition right again, yeah. more about performance straight yeah, exactly. off. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, making ground again here yeah, rather than exactly. getting back. Yeah, so I can't wait. Can't wait for the next one already. I haven't even got this one out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really appreciate you taking oh, time no to chat down and uh, all the best with everything. Thank you very much. The referee stops the contest and awards this bout to your winner in the red corner, I'd just like to thank everyone for the, like for the support over the last 10, 11 years. That was like the fight that like, worked so hard for over the last 10, 11 years. I'd like to fight, thank like especially Pan, Dean James for like this whole fight. Camp. Dean James, Pan, Petch and Muay Thai, Macaulay Coyle. Um, like they were in my corner today. My mum and dad for everything over the years. Um, Liam, Liam Robinson. Like I can't. Uh, that is that is. If I was to send a message, that is the message to send to him. I know he'd be so proud. I'm so so happy at the moment. So um, yeah. Thanks to everyone and the whole my support that come every time. 
not without fail, like it's a Sunday, we're in Bolton, this is three and a half hours away from us. And there's about 70, 70 of them at least there today, shouting, singing, like they, they made themselves heard again tonight, so thanks to everyone. Um, I love everyone at the moment, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Amazing things happen when you take steps every day towards your dream. Daniel McGowan is the product of deliberate work and a fantastic support team. Congratulations, he's earned it. And if you've been motivated to leave no stone unturned to achieve your Muay Thai dream, click the link or the button below to achieve your goals within Muay Thai.